Um, if you can all join me in welcoming, welcoming uh, candidate for Secretary of State, Josh McCoon. Thank you, thank you very, can you hear me? Maybe this one. Thank you very much. All right, um, this is like walking into a dream. We, uh, several years ago, a small group of us uh, wanted to get the Republican Assembly going, um, and for several years, it was sort of an in-name only organization. There was no flesh and blood around it, no muscle. Um, and what a tremendous job uh, Alex Johnson and his team have done. It is so exciting to be with you today. It is so exciting to be thinking about how different January of 2019 can be with the help of those of you in this room. We have an opportunity for a reset from the top of the ticket to the bottom. I believe that more can happen in the 2019 session of the Georgia General Assembly than has happened in the last seven years. That is how optimistic I am about what's going to happen on May 22nd. I am Josh McCoon. I am running to be your next Secretary of State because I want Georgia to be the fastest state in the nation to get a job and the toughest state in the nation to cast an illegal vote. <laughs> Down at the General Assembly, we spend all this time uh, manipulating the tax code, spending money to try to stimulate economic activity. As Georgia's next Secretary of State, there's an opportunity to connect people to the dignity of honest hard work. And it won't cost taxpayers a dime. You know what that is? It is reforming professional licensing in this state. Did you know, did you know that the average cosmetologist in this state has 350 days of training? But to be an EMT, the average is 31 days? There's something wrong with the way we are insisting on government to give a permission slip to people to be able to work. We talk a lot about Georgia being the number one state in which to do business. If I had a dollar for every time I've heard that, I could self-fund this campaign. And it's good to talk about our successes, but we also should acknowledge that Georgia is 41st in the nation for per capita middle income families and 15th for low income families. What that tells me is that people who are trying to climb the ladder of economic success are having a much tougher time. So as your Secretary of State, job one is rolling back artificial barriers preventing people from the dignity of honest hard work. Let me talk for just a moment about elections. They just spent $30 million trying to steal a congressional seat, right? Imagine what they're going to do in 2020 when we are trying to reelect Donald Trump president. The left knows they can't change Georgia election law at the General Assembly, so they run to Obama judges to get them to rewrite the law in the middle of a campaign. We saw it happen in the 6th Congressional District. Extended voter registration. 10,000 more people on the rolls in the middle of an election. No way to verify where they're from. No way to verify if they live in the district like John Ossoff. <laughs> Two lawsuits in Hall and Gwinnett County saying the ballots that voters cast need to be printed in multiple foreign languages. Let me tell you something. It's not too much to ask that to participate in our system of self-government that you understand English well enough to vote.
We have real threats to the integrity of our voting system. Over 20,000 illegal aliens have been issued Georgia driver's licenses. Does anybody know what motor voter is? It means when you go get your driver's license, they automatically register you to vote. Then what do you use when you go to vote to show that you're complying with photo ID? Your driver's license. Somebody needs to step up and do something about this, right? We've got great candidates in this race. We've got four great candidates in this race. So why vote for me? Many of you in this room know me. You know who I am. You've seen what I've done over the last seven years. Whether it's ethics reform or religious freedom, not the left, not the right, not the governor, no one is going to stop me from standing up for your beliefs. So I learned a long time ago from a guy that's a real good salesman, if you don't ask for the order, you don't get it. I need your vote today. The vote today is very significant. We want the endorsement of the Georgia Republican Assembly. I need to partner with this organization and let people know I'm the conservative in this race that will deliver for conservatives. So please uh, support us, join with us, and let us make 2019 a true change in Georgia history. Thank you so much.